Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. Many of you asked me how do you test fuel injectors on BMW X5 and how you check for leaking fuel injector. As you know, leaking fuel injector guys practically can destroy your engine. And we're going to talk about that as we go. So make sure you stay until the end guys. Now we'll demonstrate on a six cylinder N52 gasoline engine that has been used in BMW 3 series, 5 series guys, X1, X3, Z4 and BMW X5. The only difference will be your intake. Okay, actually the air filter box will be at a different location on top, but the procedure to test your fuel injectors will be very close guys. Even if you have guys N54 six cylinder gasoline engine that has been used in the first generation of BMW X5. Now consider this video guys entertaining not a how-to video due to the fact that it's very dangerous you can catch your car on fire yourself on fire the building anything guys so there is some risk involved and we will explain that but we will show you guys how we test our injectors here on an engine that can be found in bmw x5 if you need to buy guys parts tools new injectors anything like that we will share the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from guys usually you can find them for a really good price uh, another thing every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos and why we do that because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information let us show you what we have here guys and how we're going to test it first guys this is the fuel rail right here. If you have the X5 with the N52 engine, you have your air filter box on top and you will not have that plastic that says BMW, but it can be easily even removed and you won't even know the difference. We have the fuel rail removed all the way with the fuel injectors. The fuel rail is the pipe that feeds the fuel injectors fuel. And it's connected to the fuel supply line coming from the fuel tank. You can see all the way back there. So that way we still have pressure in the fuel system. Now, after testing a few injectors, that pressure will decrease and we'll explain how you can pump it again. But before we continue, let me tell you one thing, guys. Check this channel out, Auto Repair, guys. This is our main channel. And on this channel, guys, we have helped more than 75 million people. We have information that can save you thousands of dollars, guys, on future car repairs. So please, guys, check it out. Now, when you guys test one or two injectors, the fuel pressure in the fuel rail will decrease. How you can increase that, guys? You can see when you remove your fuel injectors, you will have the holes where the injectors plug in on the cylinder head and they're right before the intake valves. Make sure you don't drop anything there. Nuts, bolts, dust, rocks, anything like that because it will bend the valve. If it goes in the cylinder, it will destroy your engine even more, guys. So you need to have the engine rebuilt. Number two, guys. We got a long rack, okay, that covers all the holes. And if you need to build pressure, what I usually do, we disconnect the fuel injectors, okay. I'll even recommend to uh, disconnect, okay, to disconnect the ignition coils, all of them, that way you will not have spark, guys, and crank the engine for only a couple of seconds at a time, and it will build pressure in the fuel rail. Now, that being said, okay, we're going to go ahead and connect two alligator clips, guys. Two alligator clips here, Okay, check it out now. It doesn't matter which one you connect to positive, which one to negative. Okay, it, you can reverse them as long as you don't touch the two wires together because the moment you touch these two together and you have a power source, you're going to burn your injector. We are just going to get a 9 volt battery, guys. Okay, and we're going to connect okay, the alligator clips to the battery and uh, the moment we touch the second one, to the terminal check what's going to happen now okay check it out how it sprays it makes that foam right not foam kind of like fog guys fog excuse me it's super fine mist that fine mist that's what you're striving guys make sure that it's not just in a direct line it needs to make it like mist super fine mist uh, and you're going to notice that in most cases the injector will spray a little bit in an angle this is because your injectors will be mounted vertical and they need to spray a little bit to the inside to go in the valves now, after it closes, quickly touch it and make sure that it's not leaking fuel. Because the injector that's leaking fuel, guys, okay, will drip a few gasoline drops, guys, and make sure that it's not wet and it's not leaking fuel. Another thing, if you have a leaking fuel injector, it can destroy your engine. And if you want to know more about that, we have a video that explains the symptoms of a leaking fuel injector and how it can affect your engine on the channel. And I'll try to put the link in the description of the video below. So please check it out. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.